Hello everyone. Today we will test the audit integrated Boxio with Siemens PLC Profinet communication. Today the model node will be B6 for PL6 1PB. And it is consisted by one PC of BN8032L as the communication board module with four extended I.O. cards. In the slot A, it is the 16 digital output card BT222F. In the slot B, it is the 16 digital input card BT124. In the slot C, it is the four channels analog output card BT4234. In the slot D, it is the eight channels analog input card BT3238. Now we power on the Boxio, and we can see the Boxio parameters with the LED screen. At first, we can push the display button on the top of the Boxio, and we can see the communication board is BN8032L. Then we can see BT222 in the slot A, BT124 in the two slot B, BT4234 in the slot C, BT3238 in the slot D. And we can continue to push and see the module information of the communication board BN8032L like version information and device name. Now the default device name is BN8032 Adder. We can see in the slot A, the information of BT222 shows it is 16 digital output. The information of BT124F shows it is 16 digital input. The information of BT4234 shows it is 4 channels analog output, and you can see the value from channel 0 to channel 3. The information of BT3238 shows it is 8 channels analog input, and you can see the value of the 8 channels. Now we are back to the initial status of the LED screen. And we will check our Boxio information with the software. Here we can open Audit IO Config software. We connect the Boxio with the network cable and we click Search Device. And we click Search. We can see the module information and we select the module then click Upload. Here we can see the detailed parameters of BN8032L including fault output action, MAC address, IP address, etc. Now we can click each module to see its parameters. We can see the fault output action and fault output value. The input module we can see filtering time. BT4234 the analog output we can see the output mode, including 4 to 20 mA output and 0 to 20 mA output. And each channel could select the mode. BT3238, we can select 0 to 20 mA and 4 to 20 mA. After we finishing the configuration, and we need to click the BN8032L and right click download params, then our configured parameters could take effect. Here for BT4234, we have 4 to 20 mA as the default. Now we can click to check the process data, and we can see the process data value. At first, we need to click the BN8032 and click online. Then we can see the detailed value of the input and output for each module. Because it is not in communication and value now is all zero like our analog input and output module. The IO config software could be used to monitor and configure the parameters. It could be also used to control the Boxio input and output when there is no PLC. We will display the B6 for PL61PB test in Siemens TIA portal. Let us open the TIA portal software at first, and we select the PLC model, 
and the Siemens PLC model we test today is CPU 1 to 1 to CDC, DC, DC. Then we click Device Configuration and click the Network View. If we uploaded ODOT GSD file, we can click Other Field Devices, then click Profinet I.O., then I.O., then ODOT, then Box I.O. System and you can see RBN8032L. Here is what we could configure after we uploaded the GSD file. When it is our first time for using Boxio, and we need to click Options, then click Manage Genital Station Description Files GSD, and select the GSD file of BN8032L with its latest version, then click Install to upload the older GSD file. Now it is updating the hardware information. After the updating, we click the device configuration. Now click the network view, and we delete the old version of GSD file and we replace it with the latest version, and drag the latest GSD file of BN8032L to the network view. At first, we connect the BN8032L into our sub-network. And we need to add the configured extended I.O. cards. In the slot A, it will be our digital output BT222F. In the slot B, it will be our digital input BT124. In the slot C, it will be our analog output BT4234. In the slot D, it will be our analog input BT3238. We need to make sure the sequence of the I.O. cards in tier portal same with the actual sequence of the I.O. cards. And we click Online Access. And we use the PC Network card to search for our PLC and Boxio wire update accessible devices. The Boxio default name is NATE032 Adder. And now we need to make sure its name same with the configured name. At first, we start a configuration, and it could click the Ethernet addresses to configure the IP address. For example, we could set IP here to 192.168.0.10 and unclick Generate Profinet device name automatically. Then we change the device name to NATE0321. And we click NATE0321 Adder, then change its name to NATE0321. Now click Online Diagnostics. Then click Functions and click a Skin Profinet device name. Then we also change its name to BNA03221. And we click Assign Name. After the name is assigned successfully, we can check this notification in the info bar as well. And we close the online access. Now we select our PLC and click to download. And we can select network port of PN, E then click the start search. Now we make a small program to let the output module to have a LED test. At first, we move to the watch table to monitor the address. This address could be assigned automatically after we drag the GSD file, and we could also define it by ourselves. We can change the output start address to 2.
Here we change the output start with 4, and it is from 4 to 11. Then we change the input start with 2. Like our input parameters, we can modify 2. And we make the planned address in address table to be inconsistent with actual IQ address. QW2 is our BT222F and IW2 is BT124F. Then it will be our analog input and output. And now we make it inconsistent with each other. And we open OB1, and in the OB1 it has the LED test program we made before. This needs to enable the use of system memory byte, and we redownload it. Now we click to change the CPU to run mode. We can check the LED screen of our Boxio to see its status. Now we can see our BT2224 is operation of the ring shift left, and it will continue this operation. Next step, we will test our BT124F to check if it could detect the input signal. The older BT124F supports input of both N and NPN. And when we choose different common terminals and the input will be different. Now we select a high level input status and it will requires to power on 0V to our common terminal. Then we could have one high level input. Then we use 24V to lighten our LED screen, and we can see our channel LEDs are all on. Now we lighten the second channel, third channel then we can see the slot B is keeping on updating. Now we can see the input is valid. The 0 to 7 channels could detect our input signal. And we will test our analog input and output module. We need to wire into 0V and 24 to channel 9 and channel 10 of our analog output for the test. So it could output the 4 to 20 milliampere. At first we wire 24V to our channel 9 and then we wire 0V to our channel 10. In the programming we copy BT4234 and open the watch table. Now we give to 7646 to the first channel, and we give the value of the first channel to our BT3238. 
so we could check if the LED of VT3238 could be lightened. Here we can see BT3238 of the slot D. The LED of the 4 to 20 mA analog input has been lightened. And we can check this value in our program. In the program, we can check the value of our IW68S2764 1. We have finished the test. And thank you.